Cod's importance to New England, and by extension, American history, is undeniable. As an important food source for Native people, a key factor in drawing Vikings and other Europeans to the Gulf of Maine, and even as a driving force in the American Revolution, Cod has defined New England for centuries. Fishermen have always been important partners in protecting this historic fish. Currently, cod is at historically low levels throughout the Gulf of Maine, but haddock are widely available. As a result, regulations are necessary to limit how many cod are caught. Because they are so often caught together, figuring out how to catch haddock while reducing the catch of cod is important. Research has shown that there are several things that you can do to protect cod while enjoying a great day on the water and bringing home plenty of fish. The Massachusetts Division of Marine Fisheries has developed a series of maps that will show you where to fish for haddock while minimizing your catch of cod. Print out the haddock guide or download the maps to your phone for quick access when fishing. Our partners at the New England Aquarium, MassDMF, Rutgers University, and Eastman's Fishing have found that a high-low rig with baited hooks and not using jigs can increase your haddock catch and reduce injury to cod as well. If you do catch a cod out of season, or one that's undersized, how you handle it can greatly improve its ability to survive. Minimize contact, safely remove the hook, and return the fish to the water as quickly as possible. If it's safe to do so, consider leaving the fish in the water during hook removal. Fish brought up from deeper depths can experience barotrauma. Using one of several types of recompression tools, like an inverted hook or a pressure release descending device, helps increase the survival of those fish. From targeting methods to careful handling, recreational fishermen are key to ensuring cod and haddock are around for generations to come. <laughs>